Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how we can make this beautiful vest. You won't believe how easy it is and how simple it's to learn. Well, we are going to start this vest from the neck and then it will be in only one piece. This stitch is beautiful and if you want also you can use it in blouses, in blanket or in any other product that you have in mind. Remember that before we start I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Well, this vest is perfect for a medium or large size. So, you are going to need 300 grams of this material that is between light and medium weight yarn and a hook of number 3.5 millimeters. And we are going to start this vest for the neck. First, we are going to make 120 chains. We are going to make them a little bit loose. And we'll remember that the number of chains will depend of the weight yarn that you are using. Okay, if this yarn is lighter, well, you are going to make more chains to begin. Well, at the end of the 120 chains, we are going to make two more. Then we are going to count one, two, three, and in the fourth, we are going to make the first double crochet. And then we are going to make one double crochet in each chain. So this means that at the end we will have 120 double crochet. Well, at the end, and now that we have 120 double crochet, we will turn around. And now we will go up with five chains. So here we have one, two, three, four, and five. We won't count this first double crochet of the edge, so one, two, and in the third space, a single crochet. Then again, as you could see, we skip the first double crochet, you see, because we'll be off the edge. So five chains, so you skip two spaces, and in the third, single crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, okay? Five chains and skipping two. Well, at the end of the row, turn around and we will go up with three, four, and five chains. Then in the middle of the first wave, right there in the top, we are going to insert the hook and make a single crochet. Then right in the next wave inside, we are going to make nine double crochet, all of them inside. As you could see, I'm making this double crochet out of two crochet, you know the simple double crochet. Well, like this, we are going to continue making until we have nine. And nine, okay? Then we will have something like this. We will insert the hook right in the next wave, wave sorry, and make single crochet, and we will have something like this. Then again, five chains. And here, right in the top, a single crochet. And well, again, right away, in the next way, we are going to start with the next shell. So inside, we are going to make nine double crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Shell, five chains, and again, the shell. Okay, so remember that between shells, we are going to make five chains. Well, at the end of the row, we will finish with three chains, and right here in the edge, we are going to make the last double crochet. Okay, so now we will have something like this. At the end, when we finish the row, turn around and we will go up with three chains one, two, and three. Then, right away, we are going to complete the next shell. So, we are going to make double crochet over double crochet but we are going to make the picot. So over each double crochet we will go up with three chains and then we are going to come back. So here, three chains. Then we are going to come back to where we started and make a single crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue. So we will have nine double crochet with nine picots. And as you could see here in the picot and make single crochet. You will notice when you slip one how the picot looks different and if you make single crochet it will look like a little bit separate. 
and also it I like how it looks better. Uh, well, at the end, sorry, I told you we, that we will have a nine double crochet with picots, but at the end, we will have eight picots. Okay, the last one will be without. So let's continue. Well, let me count how many do we have so far. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's finish this last. I mean this. Uh, shell together remember that the last one won't have a picot so here we have seven we are going to make one over okay so the last one won't have a picot so right away in the next wave we are going to make a single crochet then after this, right away we are going to continue with the next shell and again we are going to repeat 8 double crochet with a picot and 1 without. So we are going to continue making 1 double crochet over double crochet and like this the whole row. Okay, so we are going to continue like this. Well, at the end of the row we are going to finish making one last double crochet for the edge okay it's very important please don't skip this part well then we are going to turn around and we will go up with one two three three chains okay then after here we are going to count five one two three four and five chains so it will be the double crochet and then the five chains that we will make between so we will count two and in the third uh, picot we are going to insert the hook again five chains we will count two and in the third picot single crochet again five and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row okay here we are going to insert the hook in the joint to make a double crochet but basically this is the sequence that we are going to follow so again five chains we are going to count two picots and in the third a single crochet then five chains then two picots and in the third a single crochet only in the joint we are going to make a double crochet right here you see okay so the sequence will be like this you see so this is how we are going to continue the whole row. So remember here we started with three chains, five chains, and here the double crochet, and then try to make this double crochet a little bit loose, okay? And try in general not to tie too much. Well, at the end of the row we are going to finish with five chains and with a double crochet. So this is how we are going to finish the row and as you could see the sequence will be like this one row of waves then one row of double crochet then one row of double crochet with picot and this is the series that we are going to repeat so according to the sequence we are going to make now the row of double crochet so we are going to continue with this part right here so let me show you so we will go up now with one, two, three chains, and oh no, sorry, two more, and then here inside of this first wave a single crochet. Then right away in the next wave we are going to make nine double crochet. So here we have three, four, five, six seven eight and nine yes so now in the next wave right in the middle we are going to make a single crochet again right away we are going to make five chains then single crochet in the middle of the next wave and again the shell so then after this we are going to make the row of double crochet with a picot and again we are going to repeat the 
rows of the series, right? So like this, we are going to continue making more series until we arrive where we are going to divide the armhole. Well, here I will stop just quick before we continue with the rest of the series. But just to show you, here we are going to finish the row with a single crochet and then three chains and then the double crochet. So we will uh, turn around and then continue. Remember that here is like we started the row, so we are going to finish the row the same way. So then we are going to turn around, we will go up with three chains and then right away we are going to continue with the shell. So we are going to make picots, sorry, double crochet with picots. Remember that we are going to have eight picots and nine double crochet. So now let's continue with the rest of this area until we arrive to the armhole. Well, okay, so I made three series and so far I have something like this and I think it's perfect to divide now the armhole. Please try on. Okay, I think that this size is perfect, but if you want according to your body or to your size, you can make more. If you are also worried about the neck, don't worry because we are going to um, reduce a bit the neck, the neck if, if it needs, okay? But so far just leave it like this and later we will fix it. Also remember that if you are making this vest for a larger size, here between the armholes we are going to add more chains to increase the size. So if you need to, you are going to make more, ch more chains sorry, according to your size. So far we are going to divide using two mo uh, some markers like this. I count two, then I count three, and I put the next marker, and then I have three more. I put a marker right there and then I put a marker and I finish with two shells. And look, we are going to fold it like this. Please make sure that the wrong side is facing to the inside, right? So we are going to fold it like this. So this will be the space for the armhole and between here we are going to put some chains to make extra shells according to the size. For a medium size probably two um, shells are perfect but for a larger size probably three shells will be enough. So we are going to make here a long strip of chains to increase some uh, shells. Okay so I will show you. I will use an extra thread to make the chains here. Well, here more or less, I calculate and count how many chains do I need. Okay, here in the bottom, I count the number of chains that I need. Remember that I want to put three extra shells right there to open more the size of my best. So I count and I need approximately 22 chains. So we are going to count if probably if I need more, I will make it possible to try to fit the three shells right here. Probably I will reduce some spaces or not, but I will have three shells here. Remember also here in this step, it's very important that we don't tie too much, okay? Try uh, to crochet always a little bit loose. If you crochet, feel that you crochet too tight, we'll use a bigger number in your hook. So well here I count 22. And then I will insert the hook right where the other marker is. So here we open more the armhole, right? So I think it will be perfect too. So here we are going to put three shells. So well, we are going to make the same in the other side. So here I'm going to cut this thread. And in the other side, right here where the markers is, sorry, where the markers are, we are going to make 22 chains. Well, here I think that in the mannequin it looks so much better, okay? So here we have our two fronts and remember that here in the neckline at the end if you want to reduce and close more we are going to make some extra rows right here but I will show you. Okay, remember that here we are making a vest so we are going to leave this part opened. Here we increase 22 chains to increase the size of our vest and here we have three shells in the back. And remember that if you want to make this vest in a larger size, well, you are going to increase more chains and uh, you are going to have more shells, right? So 
we are going to continue with the same stitch. So well, what I will do now is that I will count how many um, waves do I need for three shells, okay? So I will count how many waves of this one do I need. So right here I can make them and at the end remember that I want to have three shells right there. So I will count now and we are going to make the same in the other side. Remember that here in this step is where you are going to increase your size. So please try on and see if you need more chains or no. Well, this is where I started the row. So I finished, I started with three chains and then five chains of the wave. So I continue here with the stitch and with the instructions. And here where is the marker is where I started counting how many waves do I need for the three extra shells that I will make. So at the end, I made nine waves. Okay, so you are going to make the a waves that you need according to your size right and according to the number of shells that you are going to increase here in some spaces I skip only two but the ones that I made between I only skip one so at the end I can have the number of ways and the exact number that I need for these extra shells so well I will finish this row and remember that what we have just made here we are going to make it in the other sleeve too Okay, so let's continue and see you when we finish this row of waves. Sorry, I went out and I did get ahead, but basically I continued the same with following the instructions and the same stitch and the rows of this series. So this will be the space of the armhole. We have something like this in the back. This is how it looks. And then... And we are going to continue making more series until we get the long of the best that we want. So, so far it's looking beautiful. Well, look, I did get ahead and remember that this is where we stop. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven series. So, so far I love the long of my best. I love the result. I love how it looks. So you are going to make as many rows and as many series as you need. What we are going to do now is that we are going to continue with the edge. I think that for the bottom it's perfect. I It doesn't need any extra decoration. Just here we are going to make a row of single crochet and also here be careful try not to tie too much I think that as you could see we finish with the row of picots so it's perfect how it looks and here we are going to make a row of single crochet and later if we want we can make a craft stitch row so we are going to make the same in the other side too and in the neck as I told you if you want you can make some extra row here to reduce a bit okay you can make um, single crochet row or craft stitch and reduce some spaces but here please be careful because if not it may distort the shape of our neck so look here we are going to uh, make one single crochet in each space in each stitch to keep with the shape uh, probably if you felt that it looks too loose well probably you are going to skip one space and then in the next uh, segment one uh, space more but you are going to see okay so at the end we are going to make a crab stitch row to the great this side well here I finished the row in both sides of single crochet please measure that you have the same number of centimeters in one side than in the other if you have a longer side well they reduce a bit so at the end you must have both equal uh, parts okay so now that we finished this row we are going to go up with one chain and then we are going to come back backwards making craft stitch remember that the craft stitch is like the single crochet but backwards so we are going to continue like this, making one in each stitch. And we are going to make the same in the other side too. In my case, I already try on and the neck for me, it's perfect. So I won't do anything right there. I will just leave it like this. So with this, we finish. And remember that before we go, 
you have to iron your project using a protection under something humid and then pass the iron. Well, so what do you think? I hope that you all enjoy making this beautiful vest with me. Remember that it's very important that you are subscribed in my channel. Just click the red button and activate all the notifications bell to uh, be aware of all the videos that I will upload. Also, give me a like. Don't forget to share this video if you like it. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and stay tuned. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.